Estorer, Estor, Estora, Estor, I don't know. Occasionally, there's one of those cheap Chinese bags on Amazon that actually looks very interesting, and I think this is one. It's the one that came by a Prime, still putting that to good use. Canvassy bag, so I'm thinking rougher jobs, outdoor jobs maybe, where I don't want a backpack, but I need everything in a shoulder bag. I've got my man Frotto, do like that black bag. This has got more space. The handle is nice and solid. Some zip tabs there and there. That's good news. On the back we've got another one there, easy to pull. Look like they're not coming off in a hurry. On the side, little pouch for an umbrella or a water bottle or something. It's not secure, so not zipping up there. Same on that side, that's cool. On the bottom, tripod loops, very handy. Front pocket. Not too bad at all, that. Maybe get a little tablet in there, I'll probably put my phablet in. Zip that up there. With the loops, I can lock them if need be. I'd probably use a top just for documents and stuff like that. Then I think we should flip open. That bit is solid there, so it's weighted. I guess so that it'll hang down, hold the shape nicely. Now these are pretty cool. So I guess if it rains, it will just keep the edges protected because you can get straight in there. Let's have a look at the front. We've got the Velcro, so rip tabs, by the way. Plenty of space for your laptop. I believe up to 13 point something goes in there. Might get 15 in at a squeeze maybe without a sleeve. I'll put my MacBook Air 11 in there. That'll be no problem at all. We've got a removable insert. Let's just take that out and have a quick look at it. Decent material there and the usual Velcro setup. So that looks like it will hold a decent amount. Now you can get a DSLR in there, a decent sized DSLR, some mirrorless users like myself, no problem at all. Probably get a couple of Fujis in there and a couple more lenses. It's all right, that is, you know. I know you can get at least a couple of 200 mils in there. Not too bad at all that. And being removable, we can just use the bag without it. I know you probably can't appreciate the size of that thing, but look, I can get the old arm in there. I wonder if I can get in it completely. Okay, this is absolutely <laughs> pointless. <laughs> Sorry. Messed up what hairs I've got left. Everything just seems absolutely tidy. Nice amount of pockets for organizing stuff. I mean, the pockets on the front, definitely handy. I guess this little loop here, if you want to hook something on there, you can if you really want it. Maybe a bit of extra security or something. Colors aren't too bad, really. Even I'm not that bothered about this being light because it's inside. That's irrelevant, really. The zip. Seems sturdy enough. These little flaps will give me a bit extra protection. Flip it round to the back again. That pocket there, not too deep, but I think that's a nice lip. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this after training back and shoulders. I think it's a nice bag for 35 quid. I just have to get out and use it a lot just to see if it lasts, but to all intents and purposes, it looks like it will do the part. I don't think there's a problem with that thing at all. There's a lot of junk on Amazon, on eBay, etc. And I get a lot of junk proposed to me via email from companies far and wide, and I usually just ignore it, but something like this just makes you or just remind you that there's some really good unknown stuff out there. 35 quid, decent bit of kit that, nice little bag. What do you think? Would you use this thing? I'm gonna put a link below so you can check it out and maybe you're interested in getting it yourself. Or is it just another bag in an endless <laughs> 
history of bags that we geeks try out. I think this is a keeper. What about you? I don't mean, are you a keeper? Of course, you're all keepers. We love you all. Subscribe, stay tuned, more geeky stuff and also budget stuff to come very soon.